Alrighty, welcome back everyone, I am Blaze here. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the tiny cloak of darkest night. How to get it. So first of all, what is it? It is a clicky item that bards and rogues can use that provides a self-only invisibility. It takes 1.5 seconds to cast and it lasts for two minutes. So why would a bard want to get this item? Number one, it can act as a intermediary if you don't have a Goblin Kazugi ring or a Boots the Mosquito, if you need to break charms, if you're charm kiting. It can act as a means to quickly break a charm, not instantly, but quickly break a charm so that you can free up a song slot. Number two, there are some scenarios in groups or in raids where you do not want to do a group-wide invisibility, such as with Shari's or Silo's Song of Travel, because say if you have an enchanter or anybody else that's charming in your group, it'll break their charm. But you might need invisibility for yourself to do a pull or whatever it might be. And number three, the big reason why I went to get this item is how it can assist with pulls. There are some zones where there's not that much social aggro, or none at all. And say you'll see a name mob that's up, but it's far away, and you have a bunch of trash that's in the way. You can invis yourself. You don't have to get everybody in your group. You can invis yourself, go up to that name mob, tag it, and then invis up again, and pull that name mob through a bunch of trash without getting aggro on the trash. And that can work incredibly well. It can also be used in conjunction with fading memories to pull effectively. It can save you mana if you don't need the if you're just using fading memories for the invisibility component. All right, so let's get into how you get this item. So this cloak, it drops off of a named fungoid called Kachka, which is I think a level 51 cleric. It will complete heal, but it only spawns as a part of a cycle in a quest that happens in Fungus Caverns. And what you have to do is you have to go to this NPC merchant who sells three different types of alcohols. The three different types, they vary in price. The biggest difference is that the more expensive alcohols make it so that the waves respawn quicker. But anyways, you take one of those alcohols and you give it to one of the collars. You'll take it, and then he'll start to move down this tunnel to an end spot. And when he finally reaches that point, you will start to get a couple different waves of these fungus monsters. They seem to vary between level 49 to 51. So a lot of them are charmable, which is great. Mezzable, absolutely, slowable. They had a nasty snare, but they're quite doable. And I believe that there's five cycles there's five cycles of these mobs, where it seems like the name can spawn on any one of the cycles. And you're really looking for Kachka, that's the one that drops this cloak. An important thing is you got to keep the collar alive. He will aggro the mobs. We actually had him die on this, but it wasn't that big of a deal. And lastly, if you're concerned about the cost of the alcohols to start the quest, it's not a concern. The mobs that you'll kill they seem to drop some pretty high priced loot anywhere from around 5 to 20 platinum a pop on some of these items it was great so you'll definitely recoup your costs if you do this effectively and lastly before i end this video i want to thank captain so much he is an officer at midnight rations who's super helpful he used to play a bard on Agnar, so he's been giving me a lot of tips as to what to expect in Planes of Power. He was the one who recommended me to get this in the first place. I wouldn't have known about this cloak if it wasn't for him. And he helped out a lot when it came to the creation of the Lucan era bard class guide, as well as some of the stuff in Planes of Power. Thank you so much, Captain. I, I really appreciate it. <laughs> so. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video.